Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my dude. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagements. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 210 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Bam Bam. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch gloves and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Just listen. 
misses with the right. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. There's no give on that leg kick. Big hard punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the top. Nice leg kick. Nice jab to the head by Lee. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Left hand punch with the clinch. Three minutes. Can't take many of those, you better check. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just missed with the leg kick. now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, good combination. Beautiful head kick. Right hand upstairs. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. He loaded up that right hand, too. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. See him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Slips. Counters beautifully with a straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like that, DC. You can't relate. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. Head kick. Punches blocked. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Lee going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Nice punch, Lynn. Seconds winding down in the opening round. Lee gets hit with that overhand. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. 
nice loop punch. Just missed with the straight left hand. And he landed the right hand there. They're both throwing with power. Wow, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Big kick land. Just out of range with that left hook. with the right hand. You don't know when that leg kick is coming. Beautiful strike. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Circling to his right. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, beautifully placed in time kick there by Lee. Well, he goes to the uppercut, but it's not there. Lee's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Able to check the high kick. Big body kick. Cable inches right there, Damn boy. It. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lands the right hand. Right there by Lee. On, Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Take Lee's hook to the body appeared to be blocked by the defense. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. Not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Oh, nice jab. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Liver kick. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. And he continues to work the body here. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Oh! How about those five minutes? Why well, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round.
All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Oh, big punch lands. Just misses there with the left. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Kick. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Nice body kick. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. <laughs> Lee's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Three minutes now to go in this one. Straight punch lands. Oh, good head movement there. Nice slip. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. Just out of range with that left hook. Nice one, two there. Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now. It clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Throws the right hand there. Ooh, what a head kick. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Beautiful body kick. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice strike. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Back to the jab now, no good. That's a really strong leg kick there by Lee. Watch that strike. Just unable to... Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head hits. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh! Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Ooh, blocks the shot. Ooh, found a home for that knee. Good punch. 20 seconds left. 15 seconds to go. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. 
That right hand hurt him a little bit. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level strike. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Punch over the top. Nice shot to the body there. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Clipped him with the right hand there. Well, a case of pick your poison here. If you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up upstairs. He is in some serious trouble now. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Big head kick lands. So inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, dominant position for him here, full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Nice. Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Oh, just misses with the kick. Oh, nice right hand. Right under the elbow. Just missed with the left there. Big kick land. Just over two minutes to go. Beautiful body kick. Caught the kick. How good is that right hand? Punch coming, it's blocked. You got the turtle in that kick. There's no tail. Tail over the top. This fight's gonna be over. This what a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Wow. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Lee gets tagged by that stiff jab. Defense not there for him thus far tonight. Nice punch lands over the top. Right. 30 
seconds now to go in the round. Let's go. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cutman can only do so much and given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Big punch lands. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Just out of the range with that right hand. Place kick there by the way. Right hand upstairs. Lee gets caught with that punch. He blocks the punch. Beautiful right hook counter. So he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Big kick land. Back and forth we go. Missed with that right hand. Oh, he lands it. Knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Blocks the shot. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Caught that. No, there's danger in that too because when you start reaching on to catch that kick, here comes the high kick, and then you're in a lot of trouble. Well, this one is coming down to the wire. This has been so action-packed. I'm gonna stand up and call the rest of this fight. I hope nobody is behind me. This has been insane. I mean, it's unbelievable that we've seen. Oh! Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Still nice body to play. Plus right hand is true. Two minutes and counting to go in this fight. What a tricky head kick. Whiffs on the right hand. Nice punch by Lee. Man. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, yeah. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. That shot blocked by Lee. Oh, big left hook there. Great punch. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Back and forth we go. Oh, beautiful. 
beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Ooh, big shot land. Powerful leg kick land. Punches block. Right hand on oh, oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got it! What a fight! Yeah, brutal elbow to stop his opponent right there in his tracks, and it really takes strong technique to deliver a shot like that to maximize force over a short distance. But man, when guys do it right with those elbows, it is absolutely devastating. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. Both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Bruce Buffer is in the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called the stop for this contest at 4 minutes, 22 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by... And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent.